What's up everybody, Tech Chucker here, and today I've got a review of the SH Figure Arts Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Leonardo action figure. Now, I've already got Donatello and you saw the review of that. There's not a lot different about this figure, but we'll go through some of the differences and we'll breeze through some of the similarities. So let's crack this thing open and take a closer look. Alrighty, so this figure, clearly he's got the exact same body mold as all the others. So we're going to try and breeze through this as quickly as we can. And first up, his head is on a double ball peg. Not a lot of range of motion, but he can move his head back quite a bit. Uh, if you actually, you can uh, move the shell up and down, which this is one part that I didn't note in Donatello's review because I didn't know about it, but his shell is actually on a double ball peg, which allows you to raise and lower that shell, which does give you a little bit more range of motion for him to be able to look up just a little bit. Not a huge amount, but you know, it's a little bit and every little bit helps. So you can see here his neck is able to push back just a little bit more so he can look up a little bit more, which is awesome. He's got good side to side motion, no issues there, nothing getting in the way, and he's got pretty good tilt as well. Moving into the shoulders, now his shoulders are fairly complex, but you can see that he can get his arm all the way up, which is awesome. He can rotate his arm all the way. I really shouldn't be doing this because it usually gets all wonky, so let's just put that back and leave it as is um, but he can get that arm rotated all the way around there is also a butterfly joint in that shoulder which works pretty good which allows the uh, the arm to come forward about this much you kind of have to finagle it a little bit to try and get it all the way and then he can move his arm back a little bit he's got an upper bicep swivel which works good uh, looks like double jointed elbows just over 90 degrees and then there is a ball hinge in those wrists which works pretty decent it's a little bit more hindered on the front Let's see if I can push this down a little bit I don't know why it's not moving back as much this time I must not have it positioned quite right all right well moving on in the torso there is some torso crunch but not a whole heck of a lot and you're not really going to get him to uh, lean back all that much either without just using the hips. He does have a little bit of side crunch, which works pretty good. Happy with that. And then in the hips, he can get his legs out uh, quite a bit. It's, it's actually really, really good. I like how much this is. The, the issue is, is the ankle rockers don't go very far, so you're not going to get him feet flat on the floor, but it's still not too bad. Alrighty, so he can kick forward a decent amount. It would be nice if he could kick forward a little bit more. Let's move this out of the way. One issue that you do have with that uh, shell is you have to kind of make sure it's centered. Otherwise, it can get in the way. But his leg goes up about this much, not fully uh, straight out, but that's okay. If we move this shell up a little bit, he can get a little bit more range of motion kicking backwards. Not a whole lot, but it's still pretty good. There is an upper thigh swivel, which works great. Double jointed knees, these work really, really good. And then in the ankle, he has kind of limited backwards motion and relatively limited forward. But since he's got that toe hinge, it's not as big of a deal because you can uh, activate that toe hinge and get him forward a little bit more. He can get it back like that, which is good. A little bit of rocker, not a whole lot of uh, range of motion there, but Overall, I am super stoked with the articulation on this figure, and because I just discovered that the shell articulates as well, how awesome is that? All right, sculpt and paint on this. Uh, for the most part, it's all pretty much the same as Donatello, um, but we'll go through it fairly quickly and just talk about how great it is, because honestly, it's it's awesome. I love it. I just it, the picture or the video doesn't do it justice, but this face looks great. I love the color. I love the sculpt. It looks to me spot on with the with the original cartoon. Um, it just looks so clean. It, I don't know. I just I can't gush about it too much. Um, it just looks great. Moving down into the torso, I love the front uh, soft shell. Uh, it it it's just great with the color. Um, I love the belt and the the uh, even the back of the shell. I love the back of the shell. That actually is probably one of my favorite parts. It's just the color tone is is perfect to me. I think it's it's really really well executed. 
And then moving over to the arms, I do really like the uh, the uh, elbow pads and the wrist pieces. Um, they look great. There's not any paint on them. They're just cast in this blue, but uh, it looks great. I love the feet. They, the turtle toes look amazing. Um, they took the time to kind of cover some of those joints, which is nice because there's uh, there's a lot going on there. And so overall, I'm I'm super pleased with how this thing turned out. Uh, originally, I wasn't really thinking that I was going to like these figures because of the lack of paint, but I, it, they just did such a great job executing these things that uh, I have zero complaints. Let's talk accessories, and what kind of figure would this be of Leonardo if he didn't come with his katanas? Let's see if I can pull this thing out of his hand here. Alrighty, so he clearly comes with both of his katanas, and these things are sculpted really, really nicely. They look great. Um, there's different uh, texture on the on the actual hilts, which is great. There's just a little bit of paint, I believe, uh, on those things, and it just looks so amazing. You can see that the blades actually have... Um, essentially, it's kind of got an edge. It is not sharp on the edge, but it, on the tip, they definitely are. Uh, and the, it, it just looks great. I think they look amazing. Now, the holsters or the scabbard, this is not, it's not really a scabbard, I guess, but I don't know what it is. The issue I have with this is when you slide them in, number one, they can only go in in a certain way. Uh, and I think the curve might be wrong for how he's going to be able to pull them out. But the bigger issue is, is they're too far down. Um, I would like to be able to see the handles um, from up above his shoulder a little bit. I don't know. I just think that they're too low. Maybe if they raised him up just a little bit, that might be too high. I don't know. I just wish that I could see the actual handles um, when he's standing like this. Not a huge issue because more than likely I'm going to be posing him holding them. So no biggie there. And then this piece comes off and you can actually pop in um, just a belt, just like the other, just like Donatello. So that's kind of cool. They also gave us a sewer uh, manhole cover, which is awesome. This thing looks really cool. It, uh, you know, there's not much to it, but there is some sculpt work on it. it looks great. I love it. And then he comes with an angry face alternate head, which um, I, I like it. It looks great, um, but I'm more likely to use the other head. And like uh, the Donatello, the uh, bandana tail pops off and then just pegs into the back of this. And it really doesn't reverse, um, so you can't have it flying up. And it is also, let's see if I can pop that in, it also doesn't articulate at all. So it's pretty much stuck in that position which is okay, but it would be nicer. Let's see if we can get this one to pop in. Yeah, because Donatello's didn't, and this one doesn't either. So it would be nice if, if you could actually uh, articulate it, but it is what it is. So let's pop his head off, and we'll take a look and see what he looks like with his angry face. There we go. I like it, but like I said, I, I'm not as big a fan because it, it looks a little goofy his eyes look kind of crossed from this angle if you look at him from other angles it doesn't look nearly as uh, cross-eyed and last but not least he comes with eh, a couple of additional sets of hands he comes with two fist hands one for each side clearly and they're sculpted nice enough uh, nice enough they're sculpted really nicely I like those he comes with these two somewhat open hands so he could grab the uh, the manhole. Oops, where did he go? So let's pop this in here. You can see, so he can actually hold this, and then he could throw it, which is awesome. I always like it when they give us hands that can actually hold the accessories. And he comes with two, or yeah, two open hands, which uh, are sculpted really, really nicely. I love these, and all of these are interchangeable with all of the other. Uh, figures, but I, as far as I can tell, they're all exactly the same. So they all get the same sets. And then he comes with the actual weapon holding hands with the uh, fully closed clenched hand. And those just pop onto this uh, ball peg real easily. Let's see if I can find one that we can pop on here. Just like so, they pop on and you're ready to go. 
So overall, I am super pleased with these figures. All I have left is to get Michelangelo. I've already gotten Raphael. I just have to review him as well. Uh, so I'm waiting to see if Michelangelo goes down in price, but I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to wait. So I will be getting him very, very soon. I think if you've got the money, you really need to grab all four of these. These are just stellar figures. Um, they've got the die cast um, lower legs so that they've got a great low uh, body mass so that they can do some of those really dynamic poses. So if you can, I would highly recommend you go grab these things.